It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Raiders and the Chiefs, and it's all up next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But CD, this Chiefs club, you'd have to imagine, well positioned to make a run at repeating a Super Bowl champions. But it all starts and ends with number 15, and that, of course, the reigning league MVP, Patrick Mahomes. And it's not just his talent, as you know, partner, because we've seen that on display. It's his leadership and the trust that the organization has in him to help bring along an offense and turn it into one of the league's best. And then for the Raiders, this is a tough team to figure out. They stumbled home to a 6-11 finish last year. But you say if they want to turn things around, it has to start on the defensive end. It certainly does. And while they've had some dynamic pass rushers along the way, they've needed more, and they've added them now in free agency and the draft, as well as some new faces on the back end to help shut down people throwing the football. Bitter rivals going back to their AFL days in the 1960s. The Chiefs and Raiders are underway. DeAndre Carter returning it. And he returns this to the 22. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And bringing them out is the pocket passer from Purdue, rookie Aiden O'Connell. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. A first carry for the All-Pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. From the 24 now, here's second down and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Throwing, O'Connell. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is gonna have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. That one into the hands of Adams downfield. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. 
Off the play fake. O'Connell. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. Now he's got it, and they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. Open man, it's Mayer in the end zone for the Raiders' touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Raiders are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They run with a second-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. Across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Throwing now is Mahomes. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. The 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, 
your coaches are upset with you, all right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. Following the fumble recovery, O'Connell. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball and field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. On second down, O'Connell. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Play action, now Connell. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll go for it. O'Connell. Mayer there to bring it in. And he is going to have a Raiders first down. Boy, that was a tough couple of yards to pick up, but they convert on fourth and one. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Sticking to the air with O'Connell here. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out. To the 20. Charles, one thing that he referenced to us yesterday was his confidence fitting the ball into any window, but obviously that window was a little too tight and it was closing in a hurry. And he was talking to us about having anticipation and making those types of throws down near the goal line. I don't think you can anticipate it as much as you need to see it open. You've got to be precise with your throws down here in the red zone. That one goes into double coverage and he gets picked off. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. He's got this to the rookie, Rasheed Rice. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The end result, 21 yards. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they look their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Tyree Wilson using that athletic ability to make the play. I don't know if he was just working through progressions or just unaware of the pressure, but no matter. Excellent work by the defense to get him to the ground before he could escape the pocket. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. So the completion good for just three. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. 
And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. DeAndre Carter back deep. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Hunter Renfro is the man he was looking for. And it's second down. And O'Connell now to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. And they go play action here with O'Connell. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. Kadarius Toney deep for KC. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. KC's offense ready to take over. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better, drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Just a gain of a couple there at its second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. They go play action, now Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a pretty good throw on the core route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? Yeah, they should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you 
You've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. And our statistician, Ben Ramsar, just held up three fingers to remind me he now has three tackles for a loss rolling in the first quarter. Well, Ben's got it detailed perfectly. He always gives us the right stats. I'd love to be on the offense's headset right now because what you're hearing is, can someone please block him? Come up with a scheme. Come up with something. Make sure you block him because he's disrupting everything. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so he wisely just gets rid of it. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. O'Connell to throw on second down. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official won't even think twice about pulling his flag on that one. Jacob's going to try the middle. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. He'll get four yards on the carry there, and we will get to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football. Now a second and six, as they've got it as we resume action. On second down, Jacobs. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Out routes are always timing routes, and if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. Second and 10. Here's O'Connell. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 33. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. He's brought down at the 31. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. Second and nine. throwing O'Connell and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it the Pro Bowl wideout Devontae Adams his intended receiver and it's third down now 
O'Connell. down and on comes the Raider kicker Daniel Carlson on the left hash this from 48 yards the kick by Carlson is good and that will extend their lead even further so the scoring drive encompasses nine plays and the net result three points take your disappointment and put it aside nine plays yeah they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown I get that but sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later with another nine play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. After the main field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Now second and nine. Now here's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. The offense on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. On the ground, it's Gray. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes going to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Mahomes now to throw. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. They'll look to throw here. Finds his man, Watson over the middle. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. And complete once again to Watson. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front yeah, buying that time? time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Back to throw, O'Connell. He goes right back to Adams. That's complete. And Devontae's going to have a Raiders first down as he'll get this up to the 43. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to pat it, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and five. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. That one in the hands of Adams downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Now it's O'Connell. And he's going to go down here and sack. They push him back to the 34. George Karloftis credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Colton Miller, former first-round pick, called for the penalty there. Still second down. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. And that'll be off 
the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, and it's third down. To throw here, O'Connell. And this is going to be incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there. And now it's fourth down. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown in their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. After the main field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, You've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly. And they were able to break it up. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he is caught. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. Here's second and ten. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. Here's third and seven. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 32-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. 
This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 32-yard line. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Meanwhile, the home throw brought in by Watson. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Justin Watson, 29 yards. And the Chiefs have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stall, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. And O'Connell now to throw. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Now a dump off here complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. O'Connell to throw on second down. He's got Hooper on the short connection. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. O'Connell looking to throw on first. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Second and six. Here's O'Connell. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. 
Only able to gain a couple there. And now it's third and four. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Sticking to the air with O'Connell here. Here's a diving catch right side. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Throwing, O'Connell. And that's going to be incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. Carlson able to put this one through, and they have regained the lead. So he remains perfect, three for three, in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Super Bowl champs trailing here, but they will get the ball first to begin quarter number three. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, 
They're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They work now on second and nine. Mahomes now to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Watson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half and this one number five. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two is not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. Mahomes throwing complete to Valdez Scantling. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Give him 30 yards there. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now here's Mahomes. The escape ability in evidence there is that one good for 15 in the first. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the result. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. They fake the give. Now the homes. And that is caught for the touchdown. Kansas City. Jody Fortson. Two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is up to five. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Now second and seven from the 23. Play action. Now O'Connell. going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, 
but it winds up incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Fakes the handoff, now O'Connell to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there that brings up fourth. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. On the return, it's Tony. Now a hit, and a loose football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And that's what friends are for. <laughs> as the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Now the Chiefs offense ready to go again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And their last time out looking to repeat that Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 in a first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. On first down, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Now it's second and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 21. A gain of 22. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. First and ten, here's Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scambling. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Mahomes going to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs are able to add on to that lead. 
In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Butker now to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Las Vegas' is offense back out there, ready to go. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. He was brought down at the 28 yard line. A three yard pickup. Here's second and seven now from the 28. To throw here, O'Connell. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. You know they want it. You know they expect it. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know. Maybe there's something to that. Must have been a heck of a halftime speech. Yeah, maybe. Just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this gonna require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Here comes Tony on the return. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Another drive coming for KC, and we'll see Marquez Valdez scambling once again. And we get a peek at the kind of game he's having. It's been a good game. Eight catches now, Charles. Everyone likes to spread the ball around. They want a lot of people to catch it and touch it, get a lot of guys involved. But sometimes when you have the hot hand or a person who is just really taking care of business in their part of the field, you have to keep going back to them. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at about the 32. Quick throw caught out wide by Valdez Scantling. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Now that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. is the target incomplete. Had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on here to punt it away. On the return, Carter. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. 
Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And they'll run the option to start the drive. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now O'Connell. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. This is taken at the 18. The 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Meanwhile, the Holmes throw complete there to Rice. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 63 yards receiving for him now. That last catch good enough for a first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that's going to bring up second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now it's Mahomes again. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But he's certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Mahomes now on first down to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two.
from the 29. Here's second and a couple. Here's Mahomes to throw. Finds his man. Watson over the middle. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter you are watching the nfl on ea sports we're back now in kc it's the chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four Hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. So an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away. Yeah, this was a tight game until not too long ago. But since then, they've hit the accelerator. And they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter. And I don't see them looking back. Butker on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. O'Connell on first and 10. Well, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. Not a lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that one. He's fortunate it was just incomplete and not intercepted. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now it's O'Connell. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. The Raiders on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. Here it's third and two. Throwing O'Connell. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Running left to give to Pacheco. And just good downhill running there 
as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 62 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest, and they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Now here's Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Justin Watson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs had six to their lead. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So out come the Raiders. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. O'Connell looking to throw on first. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. O'Connell now on second and 10. On the out route, this is Adams with a catch. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft complete. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. O'Connell looking to throw yet again. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here at their own 33. Another solid game-changing play for this defense with the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one in firm control. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game.
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Again, it's Pacheco. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. And this offense on third down today, they've been really good converting seven of their 10 tries. This will be third and six. They go play action. Now Mahomes. That is caught. A oh, good move. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A very well executed play. It goes for 29 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. A handoff now for Pacheco. Oh, fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. On first down, Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. Now Mahomes. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Pacheco is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the touchdown run. Butker now to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Bring 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The Raiders offense ready to go. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Over the middle, and Mayer hauls it in. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. To the sideline and incomplete. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders is shaken up on that one. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to throw, O'Connell. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final play is developed. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He's just not at his focus in this game. It's not one drop, it's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To the air again with O'Connell. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Chiefs will have solid field position here as they take over at the 45-yard line. Well, they've got the huge lead now. Interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 45. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven. Here's Pacheco once again. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 118 yards rushing for him now as he's toted it 21 times. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. 
They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. And O'Connell now to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw here, O'Connell. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. There's a quarterback who's learned his lesson. He's thrown a few interceptions so far. That time he said, I'm making sure nobody catches this one. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fielded just inside the 30. There he goes, right side. And they are going to finish this one off strong. It's a return touchdown to add on to their lead in the final stages. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill. But remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Butker on for the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Well, it's no secret. That's why they haven't returned punts. He has the capability to take them back, and he did so there.
So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. Possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity. 